Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize, and in this short video, I want to show you how you can use the KSS, the KSS, the Keyline CSS property. Apologies for that. So right in front of me, I have the application from uh, what was it from the demo on the grid layout. So it's a very simple grid with placeholders that span multiple columns or rows. Let's go. Let's get back to IDs. And so now what I'll do is. I'll go ahead and I'll change the grid gutter so that there's some gutter in my grid. And now in the grid container, what I can do is I can add the key line style and then specify its style. So by default, it's none. There's also thin. So now you see this. It's not really a border. I was about to say border around each cell, but it's not really a border because it combines in the corners, it combines the characters. And so it it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it, but hopefully you can see it right in front of you. So you can set the key line to thin. You can set it to heavy, slightly heavier. And you can set it to, what was it? Double, I think. Yes, and you can set it to double. Now, depending on the resolution at which you're watching this video, it might be really hard to see the differences. So the best thing you can do is just try it out for yourself. So these are the four values, none, which is the default, it has no key line, thin, heavy, and double, at least at the time of the recording, these are the four valid values. And you can also set a color. So you have, by default, you have that green, but you can, you can change it to any valid color that's CSS that we recognize as valid CSS. So, yeah, that was it for this video. I just wanted to show you this because it, it can look really neat when you have interesting grid layouts. It can, the, the, the key line can look really good. And I'll leave a link to the documentation below. And that was it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.